Oh wait. Quit August. Hold me a bene. Until you kiss me. Watch your eyes on me. Sawete omnes, laetus vos excipio ad noam sessionem nostram illineatam, uh, vocor Dr. Z, nomen mihi es Dr. Z, I, I teach Latin here at uh, Westwood High School. I'm excited to be with you. A uh, special welcome to those of you who are with us from other classes. Um, all are welcome. I really want to keep going with the momentum that we have uh, about our major uh, unit and themes related to Roman religion, Roman gods, and the intersections between belief and superstition, sort of big essential questions. Why is religion important to the Greeks and Romans? And I think as we're going through this review, especially this first review of Jupiter and his nomen Graecum Zeus, the big goal in mind is really not only to be able to build our linguistic vocabulary, but our, let's say, pictorial vocabulary as well. So for instance, by the end of the unit, our goal will be not only to look at representations from the ancient world, perhaps a reconstruction of a Parth of uh, one of the pediments from the Parthenon in Athens, and be able to name whom we see based on the symbols that we can identify for each god. But not only that, being able to really appreciate the legacy of mythology and the legacy of these symbols in modern society. Looking at Hermes from FTD, the Starbucks Siren uh, from Odysseus and the Odyssey, Versace's Medusa, the Nike representation, of course, Nike in Greek is the, uh, the Greek equivalent of the Roman goddess Victoria, right? The, rep the personification, the prosopopoeia Victoriae, uh, as well as the symbol of um, Maserati, uh, a, a symbol of Neptune, uh, the Tridens, right? The Tridentem. So building our linguistic as well as our visual vocabulary is really the goal of what it is that we're going to be doing. Um, and by the end of this unit, all of my students um, will be able to look at art that they have not seen before, and they will be able to describe what it is that they see, um, if only in the most basic of ways. Quis est in hac pictura, comodo schemus, quae possumus videre, id est quae simbula possumus videre. Um, and my students at the end of the unit will be able to say, in hac pictura, possum videre, sine dubio, you know, et comodo schemus quis sit, you know, geret coronam, et uh, possumus videre pavum, quoque, uh, uh, aut pavonem, sine dubio est minerva, comodo schemus, geret galeam, tenet hastam, bene, et uh, est venus, et cur venus, ah, uh, possumus videre cupidinem, cupido, filius veneris, et quoque venus est Semper, siwe, saipe, semi nuda. Bene? So we're going to begin with Jupiter. This should be a review, um, and we're going to be taking you through looking at a number of images. I'm going to pause periodically. I'll invite you to pause. If you want to participate, make this a little bit more interactive so you can actually stop the video. You can describe what it is that you see, uh, and you can practice and get this kind of spoken practice for describing, or written practice for that matter, any kind of presentational speaking or writing. So, uh, in Kipiamos, let's get started. Igitur, quis est, cumodo possumus deum identificare, certe sine dubio est Jupiter, uh, nomen graecum est Zeus, sed, cumodo schemus quis sit. Ah, necesse est nobis identificare symbola in hac pictura. Sed quae sunt symbola maximi momenti, and maximi momenti would be an authentic way for the Romans to say that something is important. So quae sunt symbola maximi momenti ioi. A. Ah, quae possumus videre in picturis ioes. Saipe, possumus identificare ioem si possumus invenire 
Mm, plus minus way. Sex race. Six things. See if you can identify what are some of the six things that you will be looking for when you see a Pictura Yois. How many can you name? Okay, let's see how you did. How did you do? Jupiter, semper habet barbam, geret barbam in wultu, et uh, non numquam uh, coronam quoque, uh, tenet full men in manu, nonne, and full men, of course, being uh, uh, lightning, is not the same way that we draw lightning, like the Harry Potter scar. Um, it's more like a fire with sort of a handle in the middle. Um, it's a little bit weird. Anyway, that's just how they drew it. Uh, ad pedes yois possumus videre aquilam et aquila est avis yois est avis uh, est avis uh, regia bene quoque Jupiter tenet in altera manu sceptrum nonne sceptrum uh, est symbola potestatis sedet ubi Jupiter sedet sedet in cella regia et quoque tandem globus est ad pedes ios bene globus est planeta symbolum terrae nonne bene intelligitisne monstrata mihi gratias okay so looking at these types of representations and we practice with this a bit let's practice with it a bit more some of these i'll help you with some i'll invite you to work on on your own est jupiter out est ne jupiter cur on cur non. Okay, if you think that it is, you can begin with est Jupiter quad. Another way to begin would be est Jupiter quad possum videre. Or, if you don't think it is, you could say non est Jupiter, or simply nescio procerto quesit difficilis est mihi identificare hunc deum. So what do you think? Bene, sine dubio est Jupiter. Cur. Possumus videre barbam, right? What are the symbola uh, associated with Jupiter? Barba, tenet sceptrum in manu, sedet in cella regia, tenet fulmen in altera manu, um, relaxat in nubibus, est in Kylo, something else we didn't even talk about, and aquila ad est quoque sine dubio est Jupiter, non difficilis est nobis identificare deum. Sed, Est ne Jupiter in hac pictura? Cur an cur non. Hmm. Fortasse? Gerrit barbam? Nonne? Now habet musculos magnos reclinat relaxat? Huh. Est ne fulmen in pictura? Seek an minime. Hmm. Est ne aquila in Pictura, seek on minime. Hmm. Sedet in cella, sedet ne in cella regia? Seek on minime. Hmm. Ah. Um, non est Jupiter. Hmm. Possumus videre pisces. Non e duo pisces ad sunt in pictura. Hmm. Symbola rewi, symbola maris. Quoque est monstrum in medio, monstrum uh, aquatilicum, aquaticum, bene, cum duobus uh, tentaculis uh, magnis. Non è? Et uh, quid habet in manu? Habet concham. Non è? Habet concham. Habet concham siwe testam. Mm -hmm. Right? Some type of a shell. Bene. Okay, so this is a personificatio, this is the prosopopoeia, a personification of the riwi, of a riwi, of a river, this is the Nile. Nile uh, River, uh, despite often being hailed as the Great Mother, when it's depicted in art, is often depicted as a man. Uh, most rivers are, in fact, in the ancient world, uh, and they are typically reclining, and they are decorated with fountains. And so we can see that there are some things about this that look a lot like Jupiter, but there are some things that don't.